I'm Andrew. I'm going to show you how I make sure my pallet wood projects turn out pretty. We all know pallet wood is a mess. It's full of nail holes and knots. It's cracked. The boards aren't straight. They're cupped. That's why people who consider themselves serious woodworkers tend to stay away from it. It's tough for your projects to turn out square and true when you're using wood that looks like this. That's why you start with wood that looks like this. I'm going to make a corner shelf and I'm going to start with a pine 1x4. It's easy to find at the home store and only cost a couple bucks and because you're dealing with nice finished lumber for your base, the final project is going to turn out much nicer. I'm going to make each side of my corner shelf about a foot long. The exact measurement doesn't matter as long as they're both the same. This is the 90 degree corner that's going to go into the corner of the wall. I need to cut one of these pieces shorter by the width of one board. Now when I put these two back together, this distance here is just under 12 inches. This distance here is exactly the same. Once you have both sides cut to their final length, reset your chop saw to 45 degrees and put a bevel cut on each corner. Drill and countersink a couple holes on the long piece. Put them together so your 45 degree miters make a straight line. Now it's time to cut the long side. First of all, put your board up here, kind of lay it out. You know that you need a 45 degree angle on the edge of this board. Now that you've got that 45, hold this board flush here and mark the other end and also mark your angle on it. A framing square can help you get this angle straight. With this piece cut, drill some pilot holes at the ends and screw it together. You'll notice that these screws are pretty far in from the edge. That's because I'm trying to hit not the edge of this board, but the edge of this board. If I come out here, I'm going to miss it. So I had to bring it in this far in order to get enough of the screw into the edge of this board to not split it. So all this work and what have you got? Well, you've got a nice solid frame that you can now cover in pallet wood and you don't have to worry about this thing falling off the wall because you made it nice and strong. Vant maker shirt cameo. Now it's time for glue and brad nails to cover the top and face of your corner shelf. And don't worry about it overhanging here. We're going to take care of that in a minute. And we have all this extra wood that's overhanging. I'm going to use a flush cut saw to trim it up. this part is done you want to face the front of it you may need to use a couple boards to cover up the front I happen to have one board that's wide enough so I'm going to flip it over you put this board right here it's going to be square across the bottom and it will cover the face If you don't have a flush cut saw, you could easily use a regular hand saw. Just make sure that this face of the blade rides up against this. And that way, this cut is going to come out at the right angle. There it is in place. It's very square to the wall and it came out great. But one of the things I didn't consider, and it's something I would do differently maybe, is how tight it was up underneath that frame that I made to try to get an impact in there and get that thing drilled into the wall. It wasn't easy. If I had it to do all over again, I might change things up, put a French cleat on the back of it in order to have an easier way to mount it to the wall. 
I hope this gives you some ideas of how to make a pallet project turn out more solid and more square. One of the things working with pallet wood, it has great character to it, but if you get a hold of a rotten board and you're relying on it to hold up some weight, it's not going to turn out well. If you like this video, let me know. If you do something differently, let me know about that down in the comments too. I think one of the most important things we can do if we are creative people is to share that creativity with other people. I really think makers help make more makers. So if you like this, pass it on to somebody else. Let them know about my channel. I try to put up new projects about once a week. So make sure you subscribe and you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.